because you can use them when you're neutral on your finishes, and you can use them from top. You know, that's why I like cradles, because a cradle, you know, you can't really arm bar somebody from their feet. You can't really, you know, you could throw a half ounce on their feet, but usually you're going to get potentially dangerous. Cradles and Turks are great for guys when there's no control. When guys are neutral or they're scrambling, if you can get your hand in that crotch, or if he puts his head near his knee, and you know how to look for cradles, and you know how to look for Turks, you're going to take him from a scramble to his back, and the matches end in your favor a lot better. So another way to use it from the top, we're going to do a referee's position, okay? We're going to do a far knee, far ankle breakdown. If I'm on this side, this is his far knee and far ankle. Okay, a lot of guys on top, depending on what your breakdown is, you might need to line up in a different place. If I know I want to go, say something like a far side claw, or come here, I might line up behind him to ride. Okay, if I want to go far knee, far ankle, I have to adjust my position on top. So instead of lining up behind him, I want to put my butt out to the side, put myself in a position where I'm going to be able to get to my breakdown. So the first thing we're going to do before we do any turks, I'm going to finish from here, is a far knee, far ankle breakdown. My hand that's on the waist goes to the far ankle. Pretty simple. My hand that's on the elbow goes underneath to the far knee. Now here's what guys will do sometimes. They leave their shoulder up on top and they try to reach over here. Okay, well I'm not very strong in it. Okay, to really get my body into it, I need to drop my shoulder into his ribs. Now I can reach that far knee. Now I can drive with my legs, which is a key fundamental on top. Okay? So from here, I line up a little bit out to the side. I'm not back here. Come out the side a little bit. Whistle blows. My hands can be quick. I'm pretty slow. Okay? I never was the speediest person in the world. But my hands can be quick. Okay? Once I get here, I'm going to drive with my legs and my shoulders, and I'm going to pull my hands into my body, and I'm going to cry to here. Okay? Let's do it all the way with this. Once we get them here, <coughs> snake that arm turk in there. Okay? Now he's still trying to belly down. This time, this is real simple. This is called a cross wrist. My left hand right here. I'm underneath his arm. I got a cross wrist and a turk. And again, you have to be a good partner. You've got to fight toward your stomach so he can feel the pressure that he's working against. All I'm going to do here is pull this arm across his chest. Don't see going down as much as you can. And as I do it, I'm going to pull this arm tight up to, through his armpit. I'm going to walk toward his head. And I'm going to use my knee to block his head here. I keep the turk. Walk around the head. Put me out. Okay, now I get him right to here. All right, now again, maybe he's off the pin over here. He might try to roll through. Okay, I've got to keep my hand in that crotch just in case I lose him, lose the head there. Okay, so from the start to the finish, line up out to the side. Get out to the side a little bit. Drop the shoulder on it so you can reach the knee. Far ankle, drive in. Okay, you to use your knee, use your knee. Get your arm turk in. Reach up, cross wrist, run around, block the head. Pull this wrist across his chest. Block the head, stay in the crotch. He tries to roll through, still got the crotch, still got the head. Okay, let's give that a try on three. One, two, three. 